Number 37. Logs sometimes float vertically in a lake because one end has become waterlogged and denser than the other. What is the average density of a uniform diameter log that floats with 20% of its length above the water? All right, so this problem is very similar to the problem prior, right? Number 36. Um, just kind of reworked a little bit. Um, I, I explained number 36 in much, much detail. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to go into the same amount of discussion on this problem. I'm going to use just the outcome, the formula outcome from the prior problem. But if you want to understand where the formula comes from, understand why the physics is the way it is, I definitely uh, suggest you take a look at that video. All right. Instead of just memorizing this formula, it'll increase your problem solving abilities. And in case you get stuck on a test with a particular question, you want to understand the fundamental principles of physics, not the you know superficial formulas here. In any case, I'm going to use a superficial formula here because, like I said, I explained the concept in the prior problem and uh, it was taken care of there. So the outcome, the formula outcome of the prior problem was realizing the fraction that the fraction of an object submerged, okay, or the fraction submerged, okay, is equal to the density of the object that's floating divided by then the density of the liquid that the object is floating in. All right. Um, so this is this is cool. This was the outcome of the prior problem. Now, uh, I we realize the question is asking us uh, it, or it's telling us 20 percent of its length is above the water. Now, that is exactly opposite to the fraction submerged. But if we know the fraction that submerged, we can easily create a, a an equation to represent then the fraction, which is that's what 20 percent is. It's essentially a fraction uh, that's above the water. For example, pretend here's your water line, okay? Here's your water line. And let's pretend uh, this, is the, uh, this is the log, okay? And uh, the problem told us that 20% is above the water, okay? 20% is going to be above the water here. Well, let me ask you a question. How much is below the water? Right. I mean, this was simple, right? 80%. How did you know that? Well, you're like, well, if we're talking about the whole log and the whole log is 100%, and if 20% is above the water, then the remainder 80% has to be below. Exactly, right? This e equation here, this variable, fraction submerged, represents the amount that's submerged. Okay? But they gave us information about the fraction above. So what I want to do is try to create a relationship here, a mathematical relationship, between the fraction submerged and somehow the fraction above. So pretend that you knew that the fraction submerged is 80%. Pretend you didn't know it was 20. Pretend it's 80%. How would you find the fraction above? You'd say, right, just take, it's basically the same thing. Just take one and subtract then the fraction, right, the fraction submerged, right? One minus the 80% here would have been 20%, okay? And by the way, I really should be saying one minus 0.8, right, because I'm talking about decimals. Uh, but, you know, Percents and decimal fractions and the and the percents they're you know they're the same thing. One is just multiplied by one hundred by one hundred. One isn't. So in any case, I basically have my formula now for fraction above. Okay, so the fraction above is simply equal to now one minus the fraction submerged. So what do we ask? So we know the fraction above. It told us that in the problem twenty percent, right? But what are we after? in terms of the problem. It's asking us for the average density of the log, right? So what I need to do now is take this part of my first equation over here. Here's my first equation. I need to take this part of it and now substitute it in for fraction submerged, okay? So we have the fraction above is equal to one minus the density of the log, because that's the object we're talking about, okay? Density of the log divided by the density of the water. Okay, so the problem's asking me to find the density of the log. So all we have to do now is just do math, right? All we have to do is just solve for this, uh, excuse me, solve for the density of the log, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, because I wanna make this positive, I'm gonna add this on over to the left-hand side and then subtract this on over to the right-hand side, okay? All in one step. So we realize then, and I'm gonna write the result over here. So we realize that the density of the log divided by the density of the water should equal then one minus the fraction above. And then solving for just the density of the log here, I would multiply both sides by the density of the water, right? So in other words, the density of the log is gonna be equal to the density of the water times 
one minus the fraction above. And voila, here it is. Here is our equation. Okay, now all we have to do is plug in the values. All right, so let's plug them in. So the density of the log is equal to the density of the water. So, I mean, they're talking about a lake, right? Generally, lakes are fresh water. Um, you do have some that are salt water, uh, you know, so I, and obviously the density changes, right? So your answer will be dependent upon what you estimate or choose for your density of the water. I'm going to choose the fresh water, even though it's probably a little higher than that, but maybe not as high as traditional, you know, ocean water, seawater. Um, so, but I'm just going to, you know, you can even choose a number in between, right? You can take the average. What's the, how many lakes out there are fresh water? How many lakes are salt water, right? 80% are fresh, 20% are salt. So you take 80%, you do a weighted average, 80% of 1,000 uh, plus then 20% of 1,025. Uh, that's fine too. I mean, I'm just going to, anyway, I'm just going to use the value of the fresh water. I just want you to know my assumptions going into it. So then in case you calculate it differently or somebody tells you the answers differently, you understand why uh, they're not necessarily right. I'm not necessarily right. It all depends on the assumptions we make here for the density of the water. All right. As long as your assumptions are right and reasoning are right, don't worry about if it's the, the answer. All right. Life isn't that uh, straightforward anyway. So don't expect that from uh, uh, from class either. So a fraction above is going to be 20%. So here we have 0.2. Okay. And just simply do the multiplication, right? I mean, you're going to realize here that we work out to be, uh, it's going to work out to be now about, I mean, this is just 0.8, right? A th 0.8 times 1,000 is going to be 800. So we have the density then, the density of the log to be about 800 uh, kilogram per cubic meter. Okay, those are the standard units. Again, your answer will be dependent upon what you decide to choose for your density of the water, okay, which is the lake. Guys, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I do hope this helped. All right, please remember to check out number uh, 36. I appreciate it very much. If you can, subscribe. If not, cool. Thank you so much. Take care.